Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Memory Protection Devices, we're building nanoscale structures with metal, solving the iPhone's picture problems, and designing an amphibious ATV. Charlie Corey is an avid iPhone enthusiast. Like many a user before him, he recently became fed up with the sleek device's lack of expandable memory, battery life that wouldn't make it through the workday, and a camera that took incredibly poor low-light images. Corey designed iExpander, a prototype that expands the memory with a microSD card slot, doubles the battery life, and includes a supercapacitor-powered LED flash that doubles the light energy. At its heart is an ultra-thin supercapacitor that delivers more power to the LEDs, extends the length of the flash pulse, and increases the total light energy emitted by the flash. The result is a crisp photograph and clear videos even in low light. All Corey had left to do was raise capital. He did so by using crowdsourcing site Kickstarter.com, where he raised more than $170,000 in five weeks to get iExpander off the ground and back into his backer's hands. Or into his backer's hands the first time. If only you took a little bit more time with the name. Stop putting a little I in front of everything. Oh, really? Yeah, cute. All right, 007 fans, prepare to be amazed. The UK-based company Gibbs Sports Amphibians will soon be selling the quad ski here in the United States at the end of this year for a ticket price of $40,000, making it the first high-speed commercially available amphibious vehicle. The quad ski, which is a one-person all-terrain vehicle that doubles as a personal watercraft, features all-terrain tires and a four-cylinder BMW supplied engine. It can drive up to 45 miles per hour on land and water, and the four wheels fold up and tuck into the sides of the vehicle in a five seconds with just a push of a button. The amphibious ATV will be suited for the outdoor sportsman type, as well as first responders, and of course for the James Bond enthusiast. It will come in five colors and be available at Power Sports Dealers, concentrated in Florida, Texas, the New York to Boston corridor, and the Great Lakes region. We should all celebrate this aquatic feat with martinis. I'll take mine shaken, not stirred. Deforming metals by industrial processes is an essential element to, the fa to fabricate most of the machines and devices surrounding us. Now, researchers at Alto University and the University of Washington have demonstrated the ability to create complex 3D structures at the nanoscale. Combining ion processing and nanolithography, the structures are surprisingly resilient and robust. This technology has various applications in the fabrication of nanoscale devices. These structures have shown that they can capture and retain tiny particles, and though they are just scratching the surface, researchers are on their way to ion-assisted self-assembly processes. Call me paranoid, but Judgment Day won't come from machine gun wielding terminators. It's going to come from self-assembling nanobots. In January 2012, the Hewitt brothers teased auto enthusiasts with drawings of their HB Coupe series concept cars. Due to overwhelming response, for a small manufacturer anyways, the brothers are moving forward with a limited 40 vehicle production run of this classic lined, full carbon fiber monocoque. The monocoque structure is best explained in three simple parts the chassis plate, the inner shell, and the body shell. The structure is not only strong, but it weighs less than 220 pounds, and it is entirely handcrafted using in-house vacuum injection at HB's Netherlands facilities. The HB Coupe Classic and the HB Coupe uh, Road Racer weigh a mere 800 kilograms and run on a four-cylinder, two-liter engine that is capable of producing 170 horsepower. That's zero to 60 in less than five seconds. The hand-built car will start production in 2014, and I'd call dibs, but Let's be real, my primary mode of transportation is an 87 Schwinn. Porsche has just released its greatest model yet. A dynamic, stainless steel, laser cut pen. Whether you find it amazing or frivolous, Porsche has a knack for design. Their 3115 Laser Flex pen has an interlocking body that is laser cut to ensure a clean, precise feel. As the ballpoint tip is deployed, the pen barrel expands and contracts with your clicks. That's right, it isn't even a fountain pen. But hey, it's Porsche. They can do what they want. So why is Porsche design creating party trick-esque pens? With a sleek and entertaining design, you're sure to ask for any and everybody's autograph. But really, they just want you to cry when you can't find your $634 writing utensil. 
Do you have story ideas? Comment below or email us and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm David Manti and this has been your Engineering Newswire.